When the radius is four meters. Oh my gosh. And there's five answers. What monster made this cutscene? What absolute abhorrent member of society was like, I know what I'll do. I'll throw some calculus in there for you. What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I am back with another episode of my Stardew Valley Expanded Super Modded Playthrough. We have so many mods, we are rolling in them, we're swimming in them, and why do I, why do I have a cup over here? That's not where that goes. Um, oh, and I, I just... Yeah, no, okay, never mind, we'll leave that there. I've got my drink right here, I've got my handy dandy notebook, I don't know what I meant either. And uh, I've got you most important of all. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. And I promise I will try not to waste it. Well, golly, last time we did two days of episode. It's spring three of year four. I had to make sure I had those numbers in the right order. Um, absolutely neutral today. Love it. And we, so, oh, I'm finally, yes, I know. It's six o'clock. Sorry, I slept in today. Craving anything for breakfast? <laughs> How about some pancakes? You should be, I'll be at the vineyard today. You should drop by and visit. Um, I wonder if that actually like unlocks a, a thing or not. I don't want to put this in the fridge. I want to drink it. Um, okay, so let's go check our uh, wine bottles here really quickly. Quick, quickly, we decided that yesterday and the day before was going to be the right time and place to... Oh, look at all these gold bottles we have here. We should have been putting those in there, I guess, huh? What, to upgrade um, our farm locations and fields... And all that jazz. And so that's what we did. And guess what? We did it. And it took forever. And I don't think we did a particularly good job. Because there's still a lot to do. And it's already been two days. We're two days into the season. And I'm losing precious growing time, people. But that's why I have... Oh, hi, Pilot. See, look. Despite what some of you in the comments say, I don't neglect my children. I just said hi. And she loves me. And look at this. Also, despite what you say in the comments. I mean, I don't have them all the way up to like 50 stars or anything like that. But... Where's good old Pileplasm? There's Pileplasm. Look at that. Five stars out of the ten I could possibly have with him. That's right. That's right. Anyway, uh, what are we going to do today? Well, we have a uh, request. Oh, my. I forgot I was building all these things. I'm going to have to drop these things off. So, Or do I want to keep these in here? And oh, what do I do? Do I drop these off? Do, they keep, do I keep them in here? What am I going to do first? I... I I want to buy Pam a house, and today's the day we're doing it. It's fresh in my mind, and it would be a good idea. I guess we will get the animals first. Use that time to get us to 9 o'clock. We will need a lot of stuff here. Okay, um, this should go in, that should go in. I'm going to keep my cheese handy because I'm probably going to need that for energy. This is going to be sold. This goes to the animal bin. I'm just going to, for now, drop off my potato seeds. I feel like that's a good idea. And, oh, yes, we should sell that diamond. And that's what we were selling. Okay. That gives us a chance to make five more sets of strawberry seeds because I want a lot more strawberry seeds. And we can put the geode in here. Oh, did I really sell my iridium quality diamond? I don't think I meant to do that. I think that was a mistake. <laughs> Oops. That can go in there. The truffles can probably be sold at this point because I don't have enough truffle oil makers to make more truffle oil. And look at all of my... They can't even... My poor barnyard animals can't even make their way around the uh, field because of how many... Oh, I don't... I don't need this anymore. I forgot. I've got an auto feeder. Let's uh, drop these down. Oh, we'll keep that up there. If we drop this down. Um, I got an auto collector, I mean. So, um, look at this. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. How do I take all of it? I can't just take all of it. I have to click each one. We need to, though, we really need to get this situated. Oh man, I have eight milks in here. That's a problem, because I've only got five milk slots. And my chickens are everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is going to literally take all day. I'm going to be done way, way later than nine at this point. Let's just switch these out and we'll go over to, to, to Robin. I think I need um, a half a million dollars. And I think I need wood. I think I need a lot of wood. I think I need a whole stack of wood, if I remember correctly. So we're just going to take a whole stack just in case. And go from there. Hey, that was fast. The magic of modern television. See, I can just cut out all that stuff. I don't, you don't need to watch it. I'm trying to get hay here because I'm like out of hay from the winter and it's just not working for me either. 
All right. Oh, we got a cutscene too. The derivative of sine two minus x soil solution is too acidic. Everybody's doing the mad sciences in here. Dang. Maru, Pyle is here. Oh, is this the one where Demetrius tells us you stay away from my daughter? Hi, Pyle. This might be the one. <laughs> I'm stumped on a math problem right now for the project I'm working on. I've been stuck for an hour. Maybe I could help you. Maybe you could help me figure it out. I'm not that good with math, but I'll try my best. I'm a mathematical genius. I can solve it. We'll go with this one. I always go middle of the road. That way, if you uh, fail to meet expectations, it's not so bad. Let's do this then. Let's grab my laptop pile. Whoa. We're staying in the lab though, right? One moment. It's hard because uh, in my very first playthrough of Stardew, which you can see as the new playthrough playlist, I, I married Maru, so all this is bringing back some memories. Okay, so I'm trying to find the rate of change of the area of this circle when the radius is exactly four meters. Rate of change of the area of the circle? Well, it doesn't it doesn't it square the radius? From my calculations, it's increasing at a rate of 0.5 meters per minute. The circumference of the circle is increasing at a rate of 0.5 meters per minute. What's what? What's the rate of the area of the circle when the radius rate of change? So 0.5 squared, right? And that be what it would be. 0.5. Oh no, it's an increase of 0.5. So it'd be 16 meters, half a meter per minute. What's the rate of change of the area of the circle when the radius is four meters? Oh my gosh! And there's five answers. What monster made this cutscene? What absolute abhorrent member of society was like, I know what I'll do. I'll throw some calculus in there for you. Because I'm pretty sure this is calculus. Taking derivatives to the limit. One more time. Let's uh, take it. Sorry. Sometimes I go full 80s. This was one of those times. You got to enjoy it. Good for you. Okay. Three meters per minute. Four meters squared. Ah, that's why. Four meters squared per minute. I believe. Let's punch this in and see what happens. Ah, oh, it's wrong. That's okay, though. I can figure this one out later. Oops. One second. I just need to configure this. Hold on. Oh, look at these little spring hearts over here. Oh, shoot. What? Did she lose her, her entire report? There's another problem I have, too. I tested a reaction that produces a gaseous mixture of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and vapor. A gaseous mixture of those things. The reaction contained 0.6 mole of carbon dioxide, 0.3 mole of carbon monoxide, and 0.1 mole of water vapor. Okay. Do you know what the partial pressure of the carbon monoxide would be if the total pressure of the mixture was 0.8 atmospheres? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Uh, carbon monoxide is what? One carbon and one oxide, or one oxygen, right? So what, what are those? Are those like 12 and 8? Are those the ones? 20? If it's one mole, it shouldn't be 20. So 0 0.8 of 20. Uh, this is going back 30 years for me, folks. Almost 30 years. Not quite. 20 years of this. So what's 0 0.6 mole? Okay, so if it's 20, 20.6 20 of 20, what would that even be? Good Lord. So that would be 2 times, because 10% would be 2. 2 times 6 is 12. And then 0 0.8 of that. So that would be 1.2 times 8. Or will that be minus 2.4? 1.2 minus... So 0.9 something. That's what I'm going with. It's not an option. <laughs> I'm good at this. Point... Uh, let's see. I'm just going to have to guess. What? What? Who did this? I'm a music major! I teach chorus! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Partial pressure of the carbon monoxide. Oh, that's why. Because I was doing it wrong. So it would be half that. What's half of... What I said before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, really, I literally, literally have no idea. We're going to go with 0.13. Hmm, let's see if this solves the problem. Oh, no, I didn't evaluate correctly. I'll ask my dad about this equation. I'm not sure you can help me out. Appreciate the effort pile. Oh, my gosh. What are even the right answers? I almost want to do this day over again just to see if I can figure out how to do it. I appreciate your help pile. What is this, though? <laughs> That was insane. I never would have expected that cutscene in a million years. Whoever did that, bravo to you, sir or ma'am. Uh, that was fantastic. Okay. Community upgrade. 
That's it. Oh, you want to build a piano house? That's a great idea. I just need 950 wood and 500 G. G of G. 500 G of G. I've got all of those things. That's so generous of you. I've got almost 2 million in the bank still. So literally, if any of you actually know the answer to that without having to look it up, you should tell me in the comments exactly what the right answer for each of those was. And I will shout you out. So how many of you science nerds are out there, man? Uh, start working the upgrade tomorrow. It should take around three days. Sweet. So we should have that uh, maybe in next week's episode, depending on how long this episode will continue to take. I'm going to go back to my farm. Oh, there's Linus. Hold on. Wait, Linus. Linus, I have stuff for you. I can't go this way. I keep forgetting that. Oh, look. And now I've got a dand daffodil. A dandiful. A, a cat dander. I'm trying to catch up, but I need to mow the grass on my way. It's a service I provide. I spent a lot of time thinking. Okay, how about if you thought about a spring leak? Or onion. I forget what it is. It's a leak. What if I... What if you thought about a leak? Not like the kind in your boat. Don't tell Willie. Oh my gosh, I think I'm actually done. I th oh no, I forgot about these ones. I need more seeds. I don't even know what those are. I really don't know what those are. Maybe they're beets or something like that. I don't know what grows in the spring. I don't want the jelly. I don't want that thing. I just need to grow stuff. Hmm. Probably not parsnips. I don't know that I have the seeds that I... Whatever those seeds are, I don't know that I have any more of them. Oh, bean starters. I didn't make any bean starters. Well, that's sh that's too bad. I did grow... Uh, I did make some shrubs, though, because those are going to produce every day till the end of summer, and I thought that was a good thing to have. Hmm... I definitely don't need <laughs> any coffee beans at all. I think, what do I have that takes the longest? Oh, I probably can't go to Pierce, can I? Because he's closed now. Where are we here? Right here. Nine to five, closed Wednesday. It was closed today anyways, right? It's Wednesday. Who takes Wednesday off? Let's be honest, people. I mean, I know why they do it. It's so that the seasons start on a Sunday each time, so we can't take the weekends off. I guess I'm going to grow potatoes. Oh, not potato. Not from that, though. I don't have... Oh, I need more than that. I guess I'm going to grow strawberries. I'm going to grow some strawberries. And I think we're actually done. Once I do this... Okay. Oh, I should probably place down, though, the... The, um... Rare crows. The scarecrows. To just keep everybody safe and happy. I could do that, though, now. Like this. And, like this well i mean it's not very efficient to do that i suppose is it i'll put it right here and then that one's there and that one's there okay yeah i think i think we're good this should cover all of them and then i think did i have one over here yes i have two over here so yeah i should be good okay cool we actually have ourselves like a little thing so now i can go through i don't know if i can still get my animals because they look like they've all gone inside and they might be asleep oh they're not asleep yet Oh, they are asleep. But I can... Sorry, Fluffy Butt. But I can take all of these. And we're going to go ahead and make some mayonnaise. And I think... I mean, we'll call it a snippet of pile today. You get a snippet of pile. What's a snippet of pile? Usually it's what I call my shorts. But today we're referring to our shortened video as snippets of pile. Makes for great television, I'll tell you what. Ayo. Look at all these. Look at all these. I don't think I'm going to have enough... Uh, space for these either hey we actually did pretty good we're up to 238 of 480 pieces of hay i'm probably gonna have to get another um another silo and i haven't even gotten a chance to look in there yet but we got all of our eggs in we got all of our milk in i cleared out got a bunch of hay good bit of fiber here too which is nice actually while i'm down here why don't i actually just do this Aww. and i'm not sure i think i need a um I think I need, I think it's a small egg. So we're going to go check that actually real quick. Is that the one? It is. It is one that I need. Look at that. So now we can actually take this silver quality egg out, which is nice. And I'm going to have to actually keep an eye on that, I guess, when I'm doing the blue chickens, which I didn't get to them either today. It's one o'clock. That's fine. I just need to find one single empty mayonnaise maker. And oh my gosh, we can go to bed tonight. We can actually do stuff tomorrow. What are we going to do tomorrow? You should tell me in the comments below what we should do tomorrow. We built Pam a house. Maybe we can go check on that. But other than that, whew, what a day. Thank you so much for being us with, being us with here today. Mm, English are good. 
<laughs> thank you for being with us here today. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I uh, would love for you to uh, to see the next video we make, see some other videos we make. Come back next time. Leave a comment down below, though. Let me know what you thought about this episode, what I can do better, and what you would change, because I'm here for you. Uh, check out the videos you see on your screen. There's something there for you, something there for everybody. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We're on a mission to get 1,000 subscribers. So I'd love to see four digits of subs at some point. Can you help us get there? As always, my pylons, though, last but not least, stay safe and be well.